I would say three words that describe Peter would be loyal, intelligent, and intuitive. Uh, so Monday nights I have uh, Boy Scout meetings, uh, so that's about like two to three hours. Uh, then Tuesday nights um, I ride with the Chatham Emergency Squad as an EMT, uh, that's another three hours. Uh, Wednesdays and Thursdays, I don't have anything, but that's not during football season. Um, and then Friday, uh, Saturday, Sunday, I, I'm either doing uh, Boy Scout trips. I would say Peter does an excellent job of balancing all of the things he has to do in a day and then some more with all of his friends. And Let me think. Uh, probably one of the more interesting stories was how um, when I uh, took my ENT class, I was actually the youngest person in that class. I was 16 and the next youngest person was 24. Um, so that was a bit interesting, especially when they all uh, wanted to go out after class and they were like, oh yeah, just like come like drive with us. And it's like, I don't have a car. They're like, oh, like do you like not have a, like, do you not buy a car? It's like, no, I don't have my license yet. I can't drive. And then I would wait for like my parents to come pick me up. So. My most prominent memory of Peter would be when he passed his EMT training course and got his certification. He, he's taken on some really important leadership positions within our troop, and on top of that, he also works at a camp with myself, uh, National Youth Leadership Training, which is a program through Boy Scouts. Well, Peter's always been a very vocal person uh, on and off the field throughout the uh, summer training program. So playing football, it's a very passionate sport. Sometimes it gets really hard, um, especially if you're losing, uh, you're down, everybody just wants to quit. But uh, something that I've always uh, tried to step up as a leader is just to lead by example. Uh, no matter what the score is, no, no matter how much no one wants to play, I'll always go out there and give my all so that way everybody knows that if I'm going to give my all, so can you. From the beginning, I really wanted to achieve uh, the rank of Eagle Scout because not only does it look really good on college applications and stuff like that, but for me personally, um, I really love just giving back to the community and helping others. You really have to show your leadership capabilities and also your kind of scout knowledge to get to those ranks. Um, and through that seven year voyage, you're also going on trips and taking leadership positions. I know Peter, he's uh, been the senior patrol leader, which is really just the leader of the entire troop. So being a Boy Scout, it's, um, it's a lot more than just going on camping and singing campfire songs. It um, has a lot to do with changing you as a person. Um, so I live by the Scout Oath and Scout Law. I would say specifically for me, Peter's influenced me in a way to be a stronger academic presence. Um, I definitely am engaged more in like studying and stuff and just after taking after his lead pretty much. So in the future, um, I'm gonna be uh, majoring in biology at college, um, wherever I go. Uh, from there, I'll be able to uh, use that major in biology to um, major uh, in either, either go into a uh, graduate school uh, for medicine, so either in uh, orthopedic therapy or in emergency medicine.